everybody welcome back to the Jeep journals my name is Ray and I like music in case you weren't able to tell I have quite a number of guitars including guitars in the style of some of my formerly favorite musicians I say formerly favorite because I haven't seen these acts play live in some time now so I don't know if I saw someone else, if I might enjoy them all the more. What I've got to say, though, is that seeing, like, for an example, this band that's represented over my left shoulder, um, basically they put on a an awesome live show. And during their show, uh, during the last shows, they talked a lot about how our people needed to communicate a little better um, especially between nations. They pointed out how many flags were representing all the different nations of people who were visiting uh, just to watch the, the show. And it's true. Music brings people together. That's kind of why you're still watching this video right now. You're trying to wonder, you're, you're probably wondering, well, what, what the heck is this guy going to say? Especially since the title talked about fig trees. Well, today and yesterday, I had an in interesting conversation on one of my YouTube posts where somebody commented about a hole that I was digging for a fig tree. They commented and capitalized the word Satan and said that I was doing something um, basically that was promoting Satan by digging a hole to plant a fig tree, which if anyone knows... Uh, I've planted a lot of plants and, um, or if anyone wants to know, or if anyone cares to know, I should say, I've planted a lot of plants, a lot of fruiting plants. And today itself, because of the rains we got yesterday, I was able to pick a fully ripened tomato for the first time in months. And the fig tree that I planted before, it's still doing pretty well. And in fact, the video that I shared here about the fig tree and why I dug the hole as deep as I dug it is doing pretty well as, as well. And in fact, I'll link that video to this video at the end so you can just click on it and see it for yourself if you'd like. If you do click on that video, please click on the comments. Don't try to engage the person who was, in, I guess, entertaining a conversation with me. Uh, don't judge them. Don't judge me. Uh, instead, just look at it and see if you're able to review with the power of discernment whether or not somebody was being kind in their actions. That's really all there is to it. So if, if, you're, if you're looking at this video and you're, you're wondering what the heck this guy is all about and you're, you're smiling because this guy's crazy, or if you're interested because you're, you're seeing the artwork on these, on these guitars um, that are behind me or the poster that's there, or you, you just, you just happen to like my beautiful face, whatever you're here for, if it's bringing you a smile, then you know that you've come to the right place. If it's bringing you thoughts that are sometimes a little bit challenging, then you know that you've come to the right place because the, the worst thing that we can do when we talk about having a communication together is to pretend that we're going to communicate and only limit our topics to the same inefficient and ineffective things that we continue to converse about pretty much for decades on end. Have you been in the same conversations with your loved ones, deep thinkers? Have you, have you been in the same conversation with your friends for years like, let's say if we were to talk on the phone today, would we be talking about the same exact thing that we were talking about 10 years ago or 20 years ago? Or would we be introducing new concepts to the conversation? And would those concepts include thoughts of peace? Peace is peace. And when we talk about peace, we talk about communicating and we, and we talk and we listen. That's the other thing about peace. So again, behind me, you see some artwork. And on my video right now that you're listening to, I talked about making a video where I was digging a hole to plant a fig tree. And 
I also mentioned that I had some communication with an individual just because I shared that video uh, that said that I was pretty much um, showcasing Satan somehow. And so I ask you, is it okay to judge someone for the guitars that they have on the wall behind them or the shirt that they wear or the way they wear their facial hair or the way they wear their hair at all if they have hair or the way that they dig a hole what i'm doing on this channel is trying to showcase the things that i've learned because man does not live on bread alone we also crave knowledge and when i showed you the process of digging that hole for the fig tree I dug the hole past the the rock layer, the caliche, the clay layer, past the limestone, down to another layer of active roots that were under the clay. And in that manner, what I did was allow my fig tree to have multiple avenues of branching out to take root and to survive over the course of time. So when I, when I nurtured my plant by digging a hole, probably deeper than most people would have, I did what I did out of compassion. I know it sounds crazy because why would you dig a hole out of compassion? Well, you know, in a former era, this current era included, we probably dug deep holes to put our loved ones in the, in the deep holes out of compassion because we didn't want the animals to to take, you know, from from their their bodies. Even though these bodies are pretty much a part of a system. Uh, what I what I want to introduce into our thought process today is what if the embalming process itself is destructive to the environment? What if selling caskets that are made out of all these adornments and and designs that are just made to entertain one another visually are just as frivolous as the entertainment options that you see on the wall behind me. Should we judge everyone who got buried in this manner because of that? Or should we just learn with one another that there are less destructive alternatives to what it is that we're trying to accomplish with one another? These are the type of deep thoughts that us deep thinkers love to contemplate. One of the other things I like to do is to respond for some reason, uh, maybe the power of Christ compels me, but one of the other things I like to do is respond whenever somebody engages in conversation with me. There's a reason that people reach out to have a conversation with us if we consider ourselves chosen ones or not. There's a reason that people say that they're gonna do something and then simply don't follow through. Have you ever had someone say, yeah, I'll get back to you, and then they just don't get back to you? Well, that's okay. If you don't spend your time waiting on the world to come through for you, you can come through for yourself. And that's just the way it is. Truth trumps hate. Uh, I, I've, I've talked with a lot of people in the past about that word. Um, some people didn't know that that, that word meant to succeed over. There's another word called biting, and I'm writing a song right now called Biting Time, and it's, it's gonna be kind of sung with a twang, Biden time, you know, and I don't know if you understand the direction it's going, but Biden time and peace certainly trumps hate and anger and hostility and telling someone that just because they dug a hole for a fig tree and shared it with their friends online to see right here, that they are somehow a messenger of bad news. That is an outright lie. And so I'm gonna call you out on it, whoever you are. You're, gonna, you're probably gonna see this video because a lot of people who engage in this level of activity like to lurk and like to send energy in the direction of something that's bright. I don't understand why, but what I do understand is that haters can make us greater. And, you know, I'm not really worried about any kind of a backlash because I'm trying to showcase joy. And at the time, even by the time you realize it, if it's too late, it doesn't matter. I've done my part, which is having a successful 
happy and well-intentioned life. And I, I do that the best I can. And all, all of us are, are, well, maybe some of us aren't, but many of us are only human. And so since we're human, it's probably expected that we're gonna make some errors. So if you made an error in calling me out for planting a plant and saying something ill-intentioned, I will totally accept your apology. And at the same time, I'm not holding it against you. So there's no grudge. So any energy that came here through me was still energy. And that energy, whether it was fierce or absolutely pleasing and pleasant, is something that I'm gonna put into everything that I produce henceforth. And uh, just like you're gonna hear this and, and take the energy and, and produce whatever you produce next with whatever you got from this content. So I hope that you're doing amazing. I hope that you're able to understand what I'm saying. And actually I know that you are. Since, since I know that you are, um, basically what I wanna say simply put is until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.